Testing is extremely important and it's definitely something you should be thinking about from the very start when designing your architecture. There are a number of ways to think about the approach to testing and I think that the test pyramid, which I believe Martin Fowler was the first one to come up with, is a good place to start. It basically says that your foundation, so to speak, should be that you have a bunch of unit tests. On top of that, you have some integration tests and then you have even fewer end-to-end -end tests. You might even have some manual tests, but that depends a whole lot on what type of app you're building. I have experienced situations where it was almost impossible not to have some manual tests, but obviously I would always recommend that you go with automatic testing when you can. So you can say that the tests further up in this pyramid are more valuable in that they encompass more code, so they are more likely to catch a bug if one appears somewhere in your code. A unit test will only test a single unit, so if the bug resides anywhere else, it will go unnoticed by said particular test. Um, so from that perspective, the tests at the top are most valuable. However, they tend also to be the ones that are more expensive to write, and they also tend to be the more expensive ones to execute in terms of uh, CPU time on your continuous integration server. So for that reason alone, it's better to have more unit tests. But the other reason is that unit tests are very nice for covering edge cases and sample space. So if you have some piece of logic that can create large combination of outcomes, it's much better to create this piece of logic in a function or a class or something that is isolated and then test that with unit tests so that you can both run them quickly and they're fast to develop and then you don't need to go through signing up, creating a user, going through a bunch of form pages or wherever for some number of combination methods at the end because that would just be too expensive. So for those reasons, unit tests have certainly a great place in any test setup. So a backend is a very nice and testable piece of software because it exposes an API which is machine readable or usable. And that is perfect for running tests. If you want to keep learning about how to build real world apps with the latest technologies and other career related topics, then start right now by subscribing to our channel and liking this video.